Final thoughts before we get this one underway? Really an important game, really a game that the players are excited about. You can hear the chatter on the benches between the players. They want to get going. They're nervous to start. Both teams seem ready, and they are about to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. The Avalanche have won the opening faceoff and take possession here at the start. Moves into the slot, and that's broken up. Puck picked up by Maye. Oh, no way to brace yourself for that hit. Oh, oh devastating hit. I'm telling you, James, sometimes you think you've got more room, and you have none. He ran out of track right there. And a penalty coming up as the official blows the play dead. I saw the hold, did you? Yeah, so did 18,000 other people, so it's no surprise the ref got it as well. The Avs will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Scoreless game, power play gets their first opportunity. Man, I couldn't get on the ice quick enough for these, James. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Into the attacking area from the left side. Comes up with the glove save. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. That hit enhances his reputation. Man, he's a hard guy to play against. The game's scoreless. He's trying to do his best to give his team a little bit of a clearer path. And he flattens them there. Kadri's won the draw here in the offensive zone. And he makes the save. Looking to get it out. Call that a win for the penalty killers on that one. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Redirected. Oh, how did that stay out? What a save. Technique goes out the window in a save like this. That is pure desperation. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. We're still scoreless. Magnitogor got it in the offensive zone. Cutting to the front of the net. Colorado's got the puck. The Russians gain possession. Moves right to the middle. Big time stop. Kemper's made a great save here. He flashes just enough of the body to make the stop on a really great scoring chance. Onto the puck. Curry's got it against the boards. Here he is, shot right in front. Answered the call there. They work the puck into a scoring spot, get a pretty good chance on goal. They just can't find a way to finish it off. Uh uh, that's blocked away. And a smart heads up play to put that away by McCarr. Quick shot and a great save. It's hard enough to be the goalie when you have to stop the shot. This thing's like a rubber ball. It's bouncing all over the place and somehow ends up behind the goalie. That's a tough break for him. The Avs tally the game's first goal. When you get yourself into the middle part of a period, this is where the game starts to take shape and now they've got the lead. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Kadri. Can't get it to go. Now he moves it to Nichuskin. There's another for the hit parade. Big open the, ice hit. Was it ever? He really closed off the room. Nowhere to go. Dropper save. There's the whistle. We'll get a face off after the goalie covers up. Oh, that's a good look from the guys in the truck there. Look how he lines them up times it perfectly, and throws his shoulder right through him. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. The Avs have taken a 1-0 lead. And that goes off a player in front. Johnson's got it in the defensive end. Look out, here they come on the attack. Turns it aside with the glove. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. 
take control of it. The Russians have it from their own end. The Avalanche have the puck in the neutral zone. Oh, and he completely muffs the shot. Oh. Scores! They score back-to-back -back goals. They stay aggressive after getting the first one. They tack another one on here. The coaches talk about getting to the front of the net, make it difficult on the goalie, take his eyes away. Man, he only could see the player's butts in front of him. He can't even see the puck. Teams are ready for the draw. The line's been about to drop the puck. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. And with the sound of the horn, that means the conclusion of period number one. Two nothing after 20 minutes of play as both teams make their way to the room. As both teams get a breather here in this first intermission, we'll do the same and get ready for period number two. Well, the first 20 is in the books. Let's see what this second period offers. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Can't connect on the pass. Here's a chance on the attack. Oh, look at this. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. Magnitogorsk got it in their own zone. Magnitogorsk got the puck along the wall. Things starting to get a little physical out there. Denied by the puck stopper. Goalies love making the glove save. Whether it's a great save or a rather run-of-the-mill one, they love to show you that they caught it after they put it away. Complete the play. Mike Mitagorsk got the puck inside the defensive zone. Kadri's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Here's a chance. Official blows the whistle. Let's see what the call is. Uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. Colorado's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. The way you drive a power play is get one puck at the front of the net, but then you back it up with multiple efforts. Here's a chance. Oh, what an effort giving up the body there. Magnitogorsk got the puck. And they clear that puck. The Russians gain possession along the wall. A chance. Traps that puck tight into his chest. And there's the whistle stopping the play. He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. Branton has been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Moves it to Makar. It's in the back of the net, they score! Doesn't take them very long either with the delayed penalty. They're able to score. It nullifies their power play, but it doesn't really matter. effective power play there. They move the puck around, and they're able to find him right in the middle of the slot. The Avalanche have looked dominant tonight. I don't know how the game is even as close as it is. At 3-0 here, that's about as flattering for the other guys as it could be. Magnitogorsk got the puck here in the open ice. And the puck clears the zone. Keeps hold of the puck. And now he tries to get it across to Manson. Oh, what a save in front! Right from the most dangerous area on the ice, the goalie flashes the glove. That's an arrogant stop. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, Colorado's really put the squeeze on here now up by three. 
Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Pass doesn't go. Moves it quickly over to Lekanen. It doesn't really matter that the power play didn't score. They've got such a nice lead. But I'll tell you, as a guy that made a living on the power play, I wanted to score every time I was out there. Oh, and another save! So good. A couple of quick stops keep the puck out. Kemper's right on top of this scoring chance. Nowhere for the puck to go. Past the midway mark in this period. 3-0 is where we sit. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Stop by the goaltender. These are frustrating. You don't get many chances like this. I thought he made a good shot, but the goalie, an excellent stop, beats the shooter. With possession along the wall. Here he is in front, and that one's broken up. McKinnon swooping in on the attack. Hammers a shot. Denied with the blocker. He scores! Oh, hang on, Kane. The officials wave this off pretty quickly. solid that one's not going to matter much I don't think I know if I were shooting it though James I would have wanted it to go in along the right side into the offensive zone off a stick and they can't connect and the traffic jam in front blocks the shot moves the puck over to Leipzig takes the feed denies him on the play wicked slap shot oh it stops him again doesn't lose his focus as he makes a couple of quick ones in a row. There's the horn ending period number two. Might almost be a mercy rule in some ways. Limited edition team drinks are available tonight at your team store. Get yours before they're all gone. Don't go anywhere. Third period is just around the corner. It's about to go down, period number three. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro, ready to bring you the action. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for Whoa. the third. Let's see if anything changes. Gains the zone from the right. Takes a shot. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Looks to get the puck over to Maillet. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Across the line from center. Here's a shot, and he comes up with it. Scooped up along the wall by Rantanen. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Oh, what a stop! And that's knocked away. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Shot on net, and makes the save. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. The Avs played along the boards. Gets in front of it. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Russians take it along the wall. Leipzig's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, serves up waffles for dinner with that stop. Here's a shot. Denies him again. Quick reflexes give him the opportunity to make back-to-back -back stops. Kemper's blocker comes into good use there. Good positioning, and he's able to deflect it away. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Avs are in cruise control, leading it 3-0. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Goalie with a stop. Flashes the leather right in the slot on a difficult chance. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Colorado's on easy street right now. They lead it 3-0. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play.
Streaking through center, they go on the attack. The Russians go to work on offense. That goes wide. Probably better off to take a little off the shot and get it on target. He's nowhere near the net. Here in the back half of this period, and the ice has been tilted to this point. 3-0 is where we sit right now. Makes it look easy with the stop. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. The Russians played along the wing. Here's a blast! Turns it aside! Passed to Nichuskin. Gotta think they're gonna score or draw a penalty here. This is great pressure. Moves it quickly over to Kadri. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Gains the zone from the right side. Wrists one! Denies him! Magnitogorsk got possession here in the offensive zone. Oh, what a smart heads-up play. And the long-range shot goes off target. Magnitogorsk so disappointed in the way that they played in the offensive zone. They've generated a lot, just not been able to finish. If they come up short, they only have to look at the game film and see the missed opportunities. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And he gets in front of it to block it. Magnitogorsk ready to go on the attack. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Steps into it. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. And the final horn sounds for this one. Ray, what a run between the pipes right now. The shutout streak continues. It's not just on the goalie. It's the guys in front of him. But he has been red hot. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us tonight.